it would be really exciting. Basically, it's, um, it's an important unanswered question in physics at the moment, whether it exists or not. And uh, for me personally, to be involved in answering that would be really, really exciting. Is it something that when you first come into physics that you're, you're told this is one of the most fascinating areas and this is how a lot of your time will be spent? I, I, well, I, I think a lot, of, a lot of students and so on are really interested in the topic. I, I think it's something that a lot of people coming into the field feel really want to, want to be involved in just because it's so prominent in, in the news these days and everything. Um, I think when I started it was a bit less prominent maybe in the media and things and so I wasn't really sure what I was, what I was going to work. In fact when I started my PhD originally the topic wasn't about Higgs searching at all and it changed to that part way through so, so I guess I, yeah, I, I wasn't really aiming for it so much but, but I, yeah, I ended up being, enjoying working on it. And so now you have been involved with it, you know, the day that, say, you find the Higgs has been found and it is going to be announced, how, we, how do you think you'll be feeling? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, it, maybe it'll be, it might be a bit of an anticlimax in a way, I don't know, because it's, you know, it's, it's there's, there's, no, there's nothing concrete that you can, I, I suppose, you know, we'll, we'll have the plots, but there won't be, it's not like you've, I don't know, it's not the same as, as finishing a building or, I don't know, you know, like there's, there's, no, there's no physical thing. What, what you'll have is, is, is the knowledge that now, now we understand something about, about physics that we didn't before, which is, which is quite, which is, which is nice. I think, I think it'll, be, it'll be a very satisfying feeling to know, to know that we've done it. And there'll probably be some people, given the amount of media coverage on the Higgs, that will say, well, we found the Higgs now, that's the end for the LHC. What would you say to people that say that? Higgs is one of the things, and obviously it's been quite headline grabbing, but there's a lot more to the LHC physics programme than that. And I think people will have no shortage of things to look for at the LHC for, for probably decades to come. I mean, the LHC is a, it's a, it's a one of a kind machine, right? I mean, uh, we spent a lot of money building it, so, and we're never going to be able to build another one exactly the same, probably, you know, so, oh, we, well, we might build something that's bigger and better in the future, but you know, for, for the foreseeable future, the LHC is the only machine of its type that it, it exists or will exist. And so we have to make sure we get all the, the, the physics value out of it we can, basically. And what's next? What would you say the next most fundamental question in physics is? From my, from my, I think one thing, one thing that's interesting is that, um, is that the Higgs boson if it exists, it explains to you how things have mass in the universe. But what it doesn't explain is why certain things have more or less mass than each other and how much they have. And I think one of the interesting questions that, that will follow on if we discover the Higgs is, is why does the Higgs act the way it does and give things the properties that it does and that is something that is, that is not explained in the standard model at the moment, even if we discover the Higgs. How would you compare finding the Higgs to another area outside of physics? How significant is this for people that don't, aren't really into physics and don't understand the significance? I think in some ways the discovery of the Higgs would be similar to something like the discovery of DNA and how inheritance works. because. For a long time, biologists obviously were aware that the inheritance was going on, that, you know, that traits were being passed on from parents to children. And in the same way, physicists have observed symmetries and structure in the way that, that matter works and the way matter interacts with other matter and so on. And, and the Higgs boson in that sense might be like, like DNA. It might explain to us the underlying mechanism that explains all of the structure that we see in nature around us.